Families of two children found dead in a taxi parked on the compound of Ben Oxford Academy in Kwetoi in the Volta region are calling for justice. The children aged four and six, according to residents, were allegedly murdered for rituals. They are appealing to the Ghana Police Service and government to thoroughly investigate the incident and duly prosecute persons found culpable. Tor News' Volta regional correspondent Fred Kwame Asari filed this report. of shock and grief after two pupils of the Ben Oxford Academy were found dead in the evening of Thursday, 22nd February 2018. The lifeless bodies of Colin Sahobo and Goodluck Wayo, aged four and six respectively, were found squeezed in between the front and rear seats of an abandoned taxi parked in the school premises. Collins, who met his untimely death, on his birthday had blood stains on his face and a wound on the left shoulder while a foamy substance was seen oozing out of good luck's mouth according to relatives the children were not found in a taxi during an earlier search in the late afternoon of thursday when news broke that the children were missing families of the deceased are therefore of the strong conviction that their children were kidnapped and kept in this uncompleted building and later dumped in the taxi parked in front of the building after they were killed. It was around 9 to 9.30 thereabout. And we just heard a shout and a wailing at the compound side. So the whole town rushed to that direction. And I was called. I'm also making a rounds with my brother with tricycle in the town, just trying to get these two handsome guys. So we heard the news. We all rushed there, hoping that we'll get our children alive. But suddenly we got there. People were crying, wailing, that they've killed our children. In fact, it was not very easy that day. It, it, it left with uh, some small time that I killed myself. The corner of Petre traditional area, Nenenuo Keteku, alleged the incident might be a ritual murder and appealed to the police to fish out the culprits to make the community safe for residents. The owner of the school was seen making a sacrifice on the campus. He was summoned and the chiefs punished and fined him a realm and its accompanying drinks. So when this event occurred, we casted our minds back and realized some of these school owners engaged in human sacrifice for the progress of their schools. This has never happened before. Big Ben only performed a prayer ritual when he was caught. So we would be very surprised if the children should turn out to be his sacrificial lambs. This is the second time he, Big Ben, has been involved in such ritual situations, and if care is not taken, it might soon start to run a serial killing syndicate. I am appealing to the police to do their investigations and arrest anybody found culpable of committing such an abominable act. Wife of the owner of Ben Oxford Academy, Grace Amuzu, who was disturbed such an incident occurred in her immediate environment could not understand why residents would be fingering his husband to have masterminded the killing of the children. The children were bed chested when we found them. I immediately shouted for help. As a mother, I am feeling so much pain. I couldn't eat since the incident occurred. I only drink water. I am saddened by the death of these young ones. My husband established two schools in this community. He paid teachers with money he got from selling farm produce. The schools were later absorbed into the public system. He was also very instrumental in the establishment